Stephen Hill, JustMyPicks.com. I'm bringing you the NFC West breakdown prediction for the 2012-2013 season. It's It's been a great year for the NFC West. You had the 49ers that came back to glory. They end up winning that game in San Fran against the Saints to put them back on the map. And it's just it's just a lot of positive things going out there. You have Seattle where they have that trio of quarterback battles up there. You also have Terrell Owens and Braylon Edwards up there. And you have Marshawn Lentz, the baby beast up there. And coming down, San Francisco, they have a lot of potential to do a lot of great things this season. But I think that the AFC did get stronger. I think that the Arizona Cardinals, uh, with a skeleton at quarterback, they can do some great things. And that also, the St. Louis Rams, if they shore up that defense a little bit, I'm sure that um, they can do a lot of things with Sam Bradford on offense. But I'm picking this division basically from top to bottom this time. I'm, I'm basically telling you who the pretenders are going to be and who the contenders are going to be. You're going to have two teams that actually make the playoffs from this division. I'm liking the Seahawks to finish number one overall. I think the Seahawks have what it takes on defense. Last year, fifth best defense in the NFL. And then offense, when they have a quarterback that can actually throw the ball, whether it be Flynn, whether it be uh, Jackson, or whether it be Wilson, the rookie, they have weapons that they can use. It's no longer just Marshawn Lynch. If you got Tara Lowens that can catch that football and Braylon Edwards that can catch that football, you can stretch out that defense and let uh, Marshawn Lynch run wild on anybody and everybody you want to. I like the Seahawks to not only win this division but also make the playoffs. And looking forward, I don't see a lot of teams in this division that can challenge them for that. The only team that I see that can actually challenge them is the San Francisco 49ers. Yes, I like Alex Smith as a quarterback, but I don't like him that much. I like this defense on the 49ers better than that offense. I see Vernon Davis. I see Randy Moss. I see Brandon Jacobs, Frank Gore. You only have one ball to go around. And you're not going to make all those egos happy. I see it now. I see the San Francisco 49ers taking a big step back. I just don't see enough ball to go around for everybody in that locker room. You have a lot of egos. You have a lot of guys who think they're entitled to stuff. Hopefully, Crabtree and Randy Moss can, can bolster that wide receiver unit and also get them back to the playoffs. But Patrick Willis is a certified monster on defense. The linebacker position, he is the best linebacker in the game today besides Ray Lewis. And he's just showing year after year after year with 100-plus tackles, plus interceptions, plus those sacks that he is one of the uh, – one of the greatest linebackers in 49er history, and he'll go down as a Hall of Famer, no doubt. Uh, you got to look at the Rams in this position at third. The St. Louis Rams, they have nice pieces. Yes, they traded away the rights, basically the RG3, to the Redskins, and they got a lot back, but those are future picks. So I'm looking for them to actually have a winning record this year because their schedule isn't that hard. I just see that they can win a couple of those games on the road and actually sneak up on a couple of people. But for the most part, I'm just looking for them to just at least not get blown out every game. Because the St. Louis Rams, they have a good fan base. They have a good stadium down there. They just need to basically hold it together long enough to get a couple of victories. I know last year they had a couple of victories that they got snatched away in the last two minutes of the game, for a matter of fact. So building off that, Jeff Fisher is a great coach. I think that he'll be able to get these guys in order and get them disciplined and get them in line to future-wise make the playoffs. And last but not least, I got to look at the Arizona Cardinals. The Cardinals, are they have a good offense. It's just that quarterback situation with Kevin Cobb and Skeleton and all those guys. Larry Fitzgerald went from super wide receiver to barely getting passes now. So you, he'll get his, but you also have to look at can they get those other guys involved? Can they also get that offense running and that defense? You have Patrick Peterson down there. He plays quarterback. He can do uh, punt return, kick return. He can play a little bit of offense if they need him to. But they're going to need to solidify that offense in that quarterback position so that they can right the head and get the body moving perfectly. Also, that coach, Ken Wizenhunt, he is on the hot seat. If he doesn't make the playoffs this year or he's making it to a Super Bowl, this will be his last year in Arizona. I believe that. So stay tuned for a couple of other Just My Picks videos. Check us out. This has been a 2012-2013 prediction of the eight, uh, NFC West, and I'll be bringing you other videos. You can check us out at JustMyPicks.com. You can also check me out on YouTube, YouTube backslash JustMyPicks. You can click on the link that they're showing right there. You can also check us out on Twitter, at JustMyPicks. Thank you very much. Comment, subscribe. Thank you very much.